Good morning, Brigadier. I shall be a little late. One of Elphus crowd. Slower car this time. Good morning, Brigadier. When you are told to come here to the Ministry and see me at 10 o'clock, Hurst, it does not mean that you were to come here to the Ministry and see me at eight minutes past. I see the Smith's not here yet either. He's had the goodness to let me know why. I was followed. One of Alpha's crowd again. You've been followed all week. It didn't dishevel your punctuality on Monday and Wednesday. Why should it have today? Today I lost him. In the underground at Charing Cross. Deliberately? No, no, inadvertently. It was peak hour and at such times it's crowded down there. I am not acquainted with the intestines of the London or any other public transport system. But Alpha's man now feels you saw him and shook him off. So not only are you blown, but you are believed to know it. Which reduces your value from little to nothing. I'm late because I waited to be found again. Uh, lots of uh, platforms down there, I suppose. Had to ferret, did he? Yeah, so I bought those at a bookstall, not to make it look as if I hung about deliberately. Ah, I read this one in the Orkneys last summer. Stylish, but rubbish. Oh, shall I submit the expense to you here at the Ministry or to uh, Smith at Transworld Electronics? When you were in the police, Hurst, before you were ordered to your present duties, whatever they might be, as a matter of national importance, did you, when reporting to your superior officer, stroll in at ease, plonk like literature on his desk, sit unbidden, and then ask questions, the answers to which you are not entitled? Are you saying you're my superior, not Smith? That the security I should conserve myself about is not merely his firm's, but this country's? A few more questions of that indiscreet nature, and the security you might best concern yourself about will become purely personal. Good morning, Peregrine. Morning. Hurst? Yes? When your managing director arrives, doesn't some vestigial remnant of the discipline you once received as a policeman nudge you to get to your feet? If you could convince me you're my boss and not the brigadier, I'll not only stand for you, but hold your chair. If you consider it's a matter of <coughs> national importance. Oh, steady, Hurst. You're a blown man. Yes, whoever your boss is, if he decides to observe normal procedure, he'll have four choices. To suspend you, to dismiss you, to request you to commit suicide, or to have you murdered. Smith's blown as much as I am, and so are you. Whoever decides to do what to whom will have to do the same to himself. Yours? No, oh, hers. Hmm, the code crackers, spy and double spy, espionage and the atom. Oddly obsessive taste. Yes, what do you imagine you're in? Twice, Hurst, you've been to Madrid. On both occasions, it was to see what happened to a courier delivering documents. The first courier was intercepted and beaten up by an agent of those people we call the Alpha Guard. The second courier showed the documents to Alpha himself and, as a consequence, she had to be killed. Very well. The information still has to be got to Madrid. And having found the loyal and the disloyal equally unsuitable, we shall now use the person without that person's knowledge. An unwitting courier.